Hello friends, welcome to my channel 5 Minutes History. Today I bring you the story of the Inquisition of Goa during the Portuguese colonial rule in India. Its objective was to enforce Catholic orthodoxy and allegiance to the Apostolic See of Rome in Portuguese India. The Goan Inquisition, which lasted from 1560 to 1812, is regarded as the most violent inquisition ever executed by the Portuguese Church. Europe had always been interested in India because of her immense wealth, spices, textiles and other oriental and commercial products. Portuguese were the first Europeans to arrive in India with colonial dreams. Portuguese sailor Vasco da Gama landed in India in 1498, sailing via Africa's Cape of Good Hope. He was graciously received by Zemurin, the Hindu king of Calcutta, who granted him permission to build warehouses for the goods he was trading. However, this Hindu tolerance was exploited by the Portuguese, who wanted monopoly over the spice trade and challenged the Arab hegemony. The discovery of the new sea route gave Portuguese an opportunity to colonize India and obtain unrestricted access to the Indian spice market. Soon after, the Portuguese sent its troops to set up a colony on the west coast of India. In 1510, Portuguese governor Alfonso de Albuquer captured Goa in the surrounding territories on the west coast of India from the Sultan of Bijapur and made it the capital of the Portuguese Eastern Empire. The Portuguese were guided by missionary fervor and intolerance. They were angered by the locals following a religion other than Christianity and following royal diktat from Lisbon and Rome, they ordered all temples within the colony to be shut down. Albuquerque also encouraged the practice of mixed race marriages to develop a population that was Portuguese in blood and Catholic in religion. In 1541, idol worship was forbidden in Goa and over 350 Hindu temples were destroyed by the Portuguese soldiers and mass conversions were initiated. However, the new converts secretly practiced their previous religions. In 1542, Jesuit missionaries Francis Xavier and Martin Alfonso were sent to Goa by King John III of Portugal to initiate the process of converting Goan residents to Roman Catholicism. On their arrival in Goa, they were enraged by the new Christians secretly practicing their previous religions while also upholding their old values and traditions. A disturbed Francis Xavier wrote to King John III on 16th May 1546 to impose inquisition on Goa in an attempt to discipline the residents and make them follow Catholicism. King John III authorized the inquisition office in Goa in 1560. This marked the beginning of the bloody Goan inquisition that comprised of cross human rights violations and mass executions of the local Hindu, Jew and Muslim populations. The Inquisition banned apostasy of Roman Catholics to Hinduism, Judaism or Islam and banned the use of the local Konkani language in the colony of Goa. Hindus were forbidden from holding any public office, inheriting their father's property or testifying as witnesses in courts. If a Hindu child was deemed to be an orphan by the colonialists, the child was seized by the Society of Jesus founded by Francis Xavier and converted to Christianity. Anyone who owned an image of a Hindu god or goddess was deemed a criminal. Hindu children were sometimes taken away from their parents and burned in front of them, with the parent being tied and forced to witness the act until they convert to Christianity. The missionaries also imposed a religious tax called Zendi on the Hindu population, similar to the Jazia tax of the Islamic invaders. Hindu men and women were even seized by the missionaries with the help of African slaves and their lips were smeared with a piece of beef, making them untouchable among their own people. Conversion to Christianity was then the only option for the victims. In his letter to King of Portugal, Francis Xavier wrote, When I have finished baptizing the people, I order them to destroy the huts in which they keep their idols, and I have them break the statues of their idols into tiny pieces, since they are now Christians. I could never come to an end describing to you the great consolation which fills my soul when I see the idols being destroyed by the hands of those who had been idolaters. In 1567, a law banning Christians from employing Hindus in the colony was introduced. A mere rumor of practicing Hindu worship 
in private would suffice for the missionaries to drag the native to the inquisition office where they were subjected to heinous punishments including public flogging being put on the rack burned on stakes and having one's nails and eyes crushed in some cases entire villages were burned with the women and children taken as slaves victims were tied on large wheels and spun with almost every bone of the victim being crushed even sephardic jews living in goa who had fled the iberian peninsula to escape the atrocities of the spanish inquisition were also persecuted in case they or their ancestors had fraudulently converted to christianity several jewish synagogues were burned down or converted to catholic churches between the inquisition's beginning in 1560 and its temporary abolition in 1774 at least 16000 people were brought to trial most of the goa's inquisition records were destroyed by the portuguese when the inquisition was abolished in 1812 the goan inquisition is regarded as the most violent inquisition ever executed by the portuguese church it was basically a holocaust inflicted on the indian people Despite the barbarism used by the Portuguese, Hinduism survived the attempts to erase it from the Goan culture and continued to flourish after Goa was liberated by the Indian government in 1961.